Welcome to my channel Maths Pursuit. Today we will look into the chapter called Rational Numbers. The given question is find three rational numbers between 1 upon 4 and 1 upon 2. So guys let us see how we can find three rational numbers between 1 upon 4 and 1 upon 2. Question is asking us here to find three rational numbers. To find three rational numbers find three rational numbers between rational numbers between between 1 upon 4 and 1 upon 2 guys we can find rational numbers between any two numbers or between the given numbers using two methods let us first of all here uh, adopt first method the first method we can use is like finding out the mean finding out the rational number using the mean of the given number rational numbers so let us first of all find out the uh, first of all find out the rational number using the mean method so how to do that here the two numbers are here the two numbers are 1 upon 4 1 upon 4 and 1 upon 2 now in order to find out the mean what we need to do is we need to add these two numbers in order to find out mean we need to add these two numbers and then we need to divide this one and then we need to divide this one with 2 guys we very well know how to find the mean of a particular number if if the given number is a and the other number is b then its mean is going to be then its mean is going to be a plus b its mean is going to be a plus b upon 2 this is how we find out the mean or in other words if there are three numbers a b c and we can find out the mean like a plus b plus c upon 3 so if there are three numbers we need to add those three numbers and we need to divide by 3 if there are four numbers we need to add the four numbers and we need to divide it by 4 now here there are two numbers so let us first of all find out uh, let us first of all add these two numbers that is 1 upon 4 and 1 upon 2 and then we need to divide that so 1 upon 4 and plus 1 upon 2 now what is the LCM here if you look here the LCM that we will be getting for 4 and 2 let us first of all find out the LCM for 4 and 2 so 2 2 is 4 2 1 is 2 or I can say 2 1 is 2 1 so we could see that we are getting the LCM as 2 into 2 that is equal to 4 so what we got we got the LCM as 4 now after getting the LCM as 4 I can now write this same equation as 1 upon 4 plus 1 upon 2 so what should I multiply with 2 to get 4 that is I should multiply 2 if I am I'm multiplying 2 in the denominator I should also multiply 2 in the numerator then divided by 2 or that is equal to can be written as or the above equation can be written as 1 upon 4 1 upon 4 plus 2 upon 4 divided by 2 or the above equation can be written as 1 plus 2 upon 4 divided by 2 or the above equation I can write as 3 upon 4 3 upon 4 divided by 2 now guys up to here it is fine now we are going to divide this one so 2 means 2 upon 1 2 means 2 upon 1 or that can be written as 3 upon 4 divided by 2 upon 1 or or I can write this one as or I can write this one as what I can write or I can write this one as or I can write this one as this is equal to 3 upon 4 into 1 upon 2 when we multiply it just we consider the reciprocal of the given division or the reciprocal of the given divisor so this is equal to 3 upon 8 so guys this is one number that we got what we got we got a number 3 upon 8 so now if you look here 3 upon 1 upon 4 is less than 3 upon 8 is less than 2 is is less than 1 upon 2 this is how we got 3 upon 8 that means 3 upon 8 is will come in between 1 upon 4 and 1 upon 2 but the question has asked, asked us to find three rational numbers now how to find out three rational numbers we found one rational number 
the, which is the which is in between one upon four and one upon two, we can find another two rational numbers which is in between one upon four and three upon eight, and similarly three upon eight and one upon two, and we can find this using the same mean method. So let us move ahead and find uh, the other two numbers, two rational numbers. So let us move ahead and find the uh, other two rational numbers. The other two rational numbers will be one will be the other one upon four, one upon four plus three upon eight divided by two, divided by two. So that is equal to again LCM of four and LCM again we need to find out LCM of four and eight. LCM of four and eight is going to be eight itself. Now how we can do that here we have 1 upon 4 that means what should I multiply to this 4 so that I can get 8 that means I need to multiply 2 to the 4 so that I can get 8 if I am multiplying 2 in the denominator I should also multiply 2 in the numerator then plus 3 upon 8 divided divided by 2 or that is equal to or that is equal to 1 is equal to 2 because 1 into 2, 2 1s are 2 upon 8 plus 3 upon 8, 3 upon 8 divided by 2. That is equal to 2 plus 3 upon 8 divided by 2. That is equal to 5 upon 8 into 1 upon 2. Or that is equal to 5 1s are 5, 8 2s are 16. So, guys, we got the other we got the other rational number is we got the other rational number is 5 upon 16 and this 5 upon 16 will fall in between 1 upon 4 and 3 upon uh, 8 and so this is one rational number that we got and here we got the other rational number now we need to find out another one more rational number which is in between 3 upon 8 and 1 upon 2 so now let us again use the same method and find the other rational number between 3 upon 8 and 1 upon 2. So let us find the other rational number between 3 upon 8 and 1 upon 2. Now let us follow the same, uh, same procedure. Let us follow the same procedure and find the other rational number. So what I can do is 3 upon 8. The other number is 3 upon 8. Uh, 3 upon 8 plus 1 upon 2 divided by 2. Guys, we are going to find the other rational number in between 3 upon 8 and 1 upon 2. That is what we are going to do now. So, I can write this one as that is equal to here the LCM is going to be if I try to find out LCM, the LCM is going to be 8 again. So, I can write 3 upon 8 plus 1 upon 2 what should I multiply to this 2 so that I can get 8? The answer is very simple. If I multiply 4 to 2, then I will get 8. If I am if I'm multiplying 4 in the denominator, I should also multiply 4 to the numerator. So, 1 into 4 divided, divided by 2. That is equal to 3 upon 8 plus 4 1 is 4 and 2 4 is 8 divided by 2. Or that is equal to 3 plus 4 upon 8 3 plus 4 upon 8 divided by 2 or that is equal to or that is equal to 7 upon 8 7 upon 8 into 1 upon 2 or that is equal to 7 upon 16 so guys we are able to find out the other rational number the other rational number is 7 upon 16 so I can write the other rational number as 7 upon 16. So we are able to find the three rational numbers. So we are able to find the three rational numbers and these three rational numbers are and these three rational numbers are what are those three rational numbers? These three rational numbers are 3 upon 8 or I can write like this 5 upon well, I can say that the three rational numbers are the three rational numbers, uh, rational numbers, uh, numbers between between 
the three rational numbers between 1 upon 4 and 1 upon 2 are are 5 upon 16 5 upon 16 3 upon 8 and the final other one is 7 upon 16 hope guys still here we are very clear now let me show these things in the number line how these things how we can find out these things using the number line now if you look here to the number if you look here or the other method in order to find these things in the number line it, it is again a very simple and very easy one so how to do that if you look here if you look here the given question is the given question is the question has given us two numbers 1 upon 4 and 1 upon 2 now we need to find for finding out the rational number in the other method we need to equalize the or we need to make the denominator same so in order to make the denominator same i should multiply here the denominator is 4 here the denominator is 2 so in order to make the denominator same i i need to multiply 2 i need to multiply 2 in the numerator as well as 2 in the denominator of this 1 upon 2 so my two numbers will be 1 upon 4 and 2 upon 4 so guys these are the two numbers that you could see but 1 upon 4 and 2 upon 4 between 1 and 2 we could not find any numbers so what we need to do let us again increase this denominator so in order to increase the denominator this step is here now let us increase the denominator as we are not getting any number in between 1 by 4 and 2 by 4 so let us increase the denominator in order to increase the denominator in order to increase the denominator let us multiply 2 in the numerator as well as 2 in the denominator so 1 upon 4 into 2 into 2 and here 2 upon 4 into 2 upon 2 that is equal to 2 upon 8 and 4 upon 8 so guys you could see that we got 2 upon 8 and 4 upon 8 now you could see that there is one number in between 2 and 4 you could see that there is one number in between 2 and 4 and that number is 3 upon 8 so in, so in between you could see one number is there that we are getting in between 2 upon 8 and 4 upon 8 one number we could see is 3 upon 8 but we require three rational numbers but we require three rational numbers so in order to find three rational numbers let us again increase the denominator let us again increase the denominator let us again increase let us again increase the denominator increase the denominator so in how we will do that again we will multiply again we will multiply 2 in the numerator as well as 2 to the denominator of this one 2 upon 8 into 2 upon 2 and here 4 upon 8 into 2 upon 2 now what we will get after multiplying we will get 4 upon 16 we will get 4 upon 16 and the other one is 8 upon 16 so guys you could see that we got 4 upon 16 and 8 upon 16 now there is a big gap it in between and we could see many rational numbers in between how if it is 4 upon 16 then we can write 5 upon 16 6 upon 16 7 upon 16 and then 8 upon 16 so you could see that these are the three rational numbers that are required for us these are the three rational numbers that we are looking for and you would have already seen that this exactly the same rational numbers we got here we got here that is 5 upon 16 3 upon 8 and 7 upon 16 how 3 upon 8 because if you if you if you further eliminate this one 6 upon 16 you will see that 2 3 is a 6 2 8 is a 16 this 3 upon this 3 upon 16 will become 6 upon 16 will become 3 upon uh, 8 so these are the three rational numbers that we got now let us put these three rational numbers in a number line in a number line guys just i am explaining this one so that you can easily understood and you can apply any of the method and if required and if the question has asked us to put these numbers in a number line you can also represent these numbers in a number line so just have a look here and see i have posted a number line here i have a post i have posted a number line here and our denominator is 16 
if our denominator is 16 so what i did first i consider 16 upon 16 that means our first beginning point is 1 16 upon 16 is our first beginning point and then i considered 0 upon 16 where we got 0 okay now we require 4 upon 16 and 8 upon 16 because this is the starting point and this is the ending point so 4 upon 16 so guys you could see that 4 upon 16 is here and then we have 8 upon 16 8 upon 16 is here and guys you could easily see that between 4 upon 16 and 8 upon 16 we have those three rational numbers that we are talking about you could see that we are having those three rational numbers that we are talking about so those are 5 upon 16 6 upon 16 and 7 upon 16 hope guys you understood this this is very simple and very straightforward but i took some time so that i can explain you but you people can do it within very few minutes within two minutes or five minutes you can do this hope guys you understood this but still if you have any questions or doubts please reach out to me in the comment section of this video definitely i will get back to you once i see your comments guys if you really like my videos please subscribe if you really like my videos i would request you to kindly subscribe and also let your friends know this will motivate me to create similar videos in the future thank you bye